Today's third video for you. First news story is from Somalia. U.S. President Joe Biden has approved deployment of U.S. special forces to Somalia. U.S. forces were withdrawn from Somalia at the end of 2020 uh, when President Trump was in office. Uh, then Joe Biden took office at the start of 2021. Now, U.S. government of Joe Biden waited around 16 months to redeploy its troops to Somalia. Was the Joe Biden government waiting for government change in Somalia? Uh, second new story is about a financial grant for Ethiopian government. Today, Ethiopian Finance Minister Ahmed Shide and World Bank Country Director signed an agreement. Ethiopia will get around 300 million US dollars, 15.6 billion Ethiopian birds. Third a new story is about Tigrayan members of Ethiopian National Defense Force who are seeking asylum. Today, dozens of these uh, uh, Tigrayan members of ENDF who sought asylum earlier, uh, they were uh, sent to a refugee camp in Sudan. Uh, last new story is about uh, Afar Somali region border tensions. In several previous videos, we reported about uh, tensions, clashes, fighting uh, uh, on a far Somali region border. But uh, some progress uh, has been made towards the resolution uh, to this dispute after the visit of Abul Arba Afar president who was in the Somali region two days ago. Reportedly from three Kabbalists, uh, both Somali and Afar militias and forces will withdraw. Uh, firstly, Somalia viewers where Hassan Sheikh Mohammed uh, has taken charge. He has taken oath. Uh, he is now the president of uh, Somalia. Uh, U.S. Uh, has been pressing uh, Somalia's government uh, to conduct presidential election. U.S. withheld financial assistance for Somalia. Uh, and when there was a tension between P.M. Roble and President Farmajo, uh, U.S. backed P.M. Roble. U.S. wanted election uh, in Somalia. Election was held. Government uh, has been changed. Now, new president has taken office. And today, just a few hours ago, Hassan Sheikh uh, took oath. And just a few hours after Hassan Sheikh's taking charge, uh, President of the U.S. Joe Biden uh, has uh, approved deployment of U.S. Special Forces to Somalia. Uh, order has been signed by Joe Biden, U.S. President. Now, before Joe Biden government, uh, there was deployment of U.S. Special Forces to Somalia. But Donald Trump, uh, previous uh, president, uh, decided to withdraw U.S. Special Forces from uh, Somalia. And it happened, I think, at the end of 2020, I think. Then at the start of 2021, uh, Joe Biden uh, came to power. So Joe Biden government waited around... Uh, 16 months from January 2021 till May 2022 for redeployment of its troops to Somalia. Why did U.S. government wait so much? Did U.S. government wait for government change in Somalia? 
now when government has been changed farmajo has been removed uh, suddenly us has decided to deploy its special forces to somalia does it indicate that there could be a role played by us government in the removal of uh, abdullahi farmajo it means that uh, us farmajo relations were not very friendly us did not want to deploy its troops to somalia while farmajo was in power and uh, as now farmajo is gone hasan sheikh is there hundreds of us special force members are being deployed uh, obviously deployment is it is being said it's linked to al shabab that uh, al shabab is a threat to somalia to neighboring countries now al shabab was a threat in the past 17 months as well where was the us in the past 17 months uh, when al shabab was getting stronger did farmajo resist deployment of us special forces to somalia we didn't hear about uh, somalia's government resisting such deployment but now uh, speculation is going around that us played a role in government change in somalia and now when the government has been changed us is deploying its forces to somalia a uh, second new story is from ethiopia viewers ethiopian finance minister top ethiopian official they have been holding talks with uh, financial institutions like world bank imf they visited to the us as well a few days ago ahmed shide was in the us uh, now it seems that uh, ethiopian government uh, has succeeded in Uh, convincing financial institutions uh, to give grants to give loans to ethiopian government today ahmed shide ethiopian finance minister and uh, world bank's country director signed an agreement this agreement says that 300 million us dollars will be given by the world bank to ethiopian government 300 million us dollars uh, equal to 15.6 billion ethiopian birs and it's not a loan it's a grant ethiopian government won't return it it's a grant where will this money be spent it will be spent for rehabilitation uh, in war affected areas of tigray amhara afar uh, benishangal gumas uh, and oromia will this money be spent through ethiopian government or will some independent international body some international ngo will spend it like uh, us assistance is spent through us aid mostly in ethiopia it's not clear but a few weeks ago we heard that the money will be given to ethiopian government now we know that uh, tigrayans tigrayan diaspora community protested in front of uh, world bank headquarters a few weeks ago and back then world bank uh, agreed that it would uh, address the concerns uh, of tigrayan community back then a tigrayan community lost a written complaint as well with world bank it uh, uh urged world bank not to give this assistance to ethiopian government but world bank has decided to give 300 million us dollars to ethiopian government third new story is about tigrayan members of ethiopian national defense force who were working as uh, peacekeepers uh, in the un peacekeeping department we know that hundreds of them have sought asylum abroad and in abia sudan south sudan disputed territory more than 500 sought asylum a few days ago then last year in darfur uh, around 120 sought asylum Tigrayans say that their lives are in danger if they return home they'll be put in prison they'll face persecution 
on the other hand ethiopian national defense force in a statement said a few days ago that uh, it was pure propaganda by tplf that is why tigrayan members of endf they were scared endf had urged uh, tigrayan members of endf to return to ethiopia but it seems that hundreds of them they have now officially sought asylum in sudan today uh, at least 40 uh tigrayan members of ethiopian national defense force part of uh, peacekeeping contingent in abye were transferred to eastern sudan they were sent to a refugee camp in eastern sudan name of uh, this camp is um gargor refugee camp um gargor refugee camp and there these will be uh, treated as uh, asylum seekers and hundreds or others whose cases are pending so uh, sudan uh, is home to thousands of tigrayans as well refugees uh, i think more than 60000 ethiopians crossed into sudan after the start of tigray conflict now hundreds of these uh, our tigrayan soldiers uh, are being sent to refugee camps as well lastly viewers uh, afar and somali regions have made some progress toward the resolution of their border disputes we know that uh, the two regional governments their militias their people living in border areas they have been involved in some border clashes in several previous videos we reported about this border clashes uh, casualties were also reported uh, even during the course of tigray war when tigray forces were in a far even back then there were clashes uh, on a far somali region border but now things are moving towards the resolution a far president abul arba visited somali region 2 days ago he donated uh, 10 million ethiopian birds for drought hit areas of the somali region it was a step towards uh, normalization of uh, relations and now reportedly the two regions have signed an agreement uh, or you can say they have uh, agreed on some points they have agreed to withdraw their forces militias from three kabyles on a far somali region border where we have seen clashes the three kabyles are firstly gada metu secondly jundufo and thirdly garbisa from these three places both somali region and a far region they will withdraw their forces militias and uh ethiopian federal uh, security forces will be deployed there endf or uh, federal police uh, federal security force will be deployed there and then uh, uh the issue will be resolved through dialogue a very positive development viewers that is how uh, conflicts should be resolved i think amhara and romia should follow suit as well uh amhara and bg should follow suit as well uh, a brilliant uh, example set by afar and somali region uh, let's hope uh, we'll try to update you about uh, this border dispute thanks for watching